fight will be in the strawway division on the professional Muay Thai rules. First up in the red corner is her pro debut out of Nashville MMA in Nashville, Tennessee, Shannon Goffrey! And her opponent out of the blue corner tonight is her pro debut out of Knoxville Martial Arts Academy, out of Knoxville, Tennessee, our Valkyrie, Emily Guinness! This bout will be officiated by referee Jimmy Neal. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Valor Fighting Challenge Fight Night at the Joe. We are here ready for a professional Muay Thai bout between Shannon Goffrey and the Valkyrie, Emily Geddes. They are both in their pro debuts. Both ladies come out swinging, ready to go. Ladies have previously fought in a mixed martial arts ooh, bout in which Goffrey's did come out ahead with a choke. Now both ladies are using their stand-up skills on them. They come firing, firing, firing. Flurry after flurry. This is definitely a a personal looking fight. Looks like these girls got some bent up frustration, Justin. Definitely throwing very hard, big swings. There we go. Shannon's dropping hands down, trying to invite Emily to come in when they make space. Maybe showing a little more confidence. Emily keeping her technique high. Everything close. Definitely seeing a lot of offense here. Definitely seeing a lot of offense. Not much gauging as far as distance goes. Maybe a punch and then both ladies moving in to take their spots and shots. I haven't seen a fight like this since I've seen somebody talk about somebody's mama just. <laughs> Back in the grade school days. Back in the day. Being a Muay Thai, ladies and gentlemen, if there's a Muay Thai bout, elbows and knees are legal as we saw Goff return with a spinning back elbow. We're definitely seeing a lot of kicks, a lot of punches. We got a clinch, rest breaking it up. Way to go, girl. All right. Ladies back at it. Goffrey smiling, feeling she has an advantage here. Back to the slobber knocker. <laughs> got it. Hands up, still circling. Using Shannon's movement. definitely getting a little bit cocky dropping those hands. Mm -hmm. Feeling very confident with her striking, and the power that she's landing with is better than that of Geddes. Just all it takes is one, one hit. Definitely heavy on the intensity from Emily's corner. Good, Emily. Good. Certainly the calm before each flurry. As the both just take steps and then tend to light each other up. We'll see if that is a continuing thing throughout the fight or if it's just the adrenaline and the energy pent up between the two ladies in general. Lots of combos from both ladies. No one one shot him. That should go with that spinning back fist again. Maybe she thinks it's going to be successful after the fifth time. <laughs> Possibly. She does need to make better distance. She needs to make sure that she closes her distance a little bit better if she's going to land that elbow for sure. I would, I'm a fan of slobber knockers. I would like to see a little bit, <laughs> little bit defense, a little bit of defense. These ladies are definitely pro makeup artists because they don't care what happens to their face right now. <laughs> Hands definitely staying up. Strong throwing. Ooh. Oh, get us may have been clipped by that elbow. Not too much damage or effectiveness. <laughs> Definitely the funny side of Eric Turner from KMMA. <laughs> oh, and an attempted Superman from Shannon Goffrey. She leaves her feet to try and throw it off. Seems to be a cross. Definitely a good counter there. Oh, and an easy shot after the bell. A little bit after the bell. Good look, good work from both ladies. Lots of energy. Lots of punches landed both ways. Richards has grown by developing long-term relationships with its customers. Find out more by calling 865-546-8882 for email info at... Well, Goffrey moving around inside of the cage, the way that she displayed her confidence, she would think that she was thinking she was running the uh, rounds, but I wasn't able to really catch a grasp on who was landing the most punches. I do know that there were a lot was too, between both. Definitely too many punches to count, Justin. <laughs> definitely too many. I wonder what you tell your corner. You tell them to put their hands up or you tell them to keep going. Swinging? Well, if I'm in Goffrey's corner, I'm definitely told to keep her hands up no matter how, how confident she's feeling because I would like her to move around. I'd like her to keep her hands up just to be safe because, as you said earlier, it only takes one punch. Yeah, it only takes one. corner, I'm telling her just to trust her striking, not to be overwhelmed by the fury that's coming forth. Like, she is absolutely coming straight forward at Geddes when she's moving. And I would just tell Geddes to continue to circle off and keep her hands up and not be overwhelmed by it. Trust her training. 
Oh, Nobody's very experienced in the sport. So we'll see a little defense, a little more technique, a little distance. And both ladies can act solidly. There we go. We're back at a back at a schoolhouse brawl right now. Looks like a pit bull and a rock wall just going at it right now, Justin. Yes, is going to, urging her to throw more elbows inside of it. Yeah. Inside of her combo, she is moving. Both corners calling out combos. Both corners urging their fighters to use their angles. But the fighters seem to be very content standing in front of one another and banging. I don't know what that was. That was a karate kid move, I think. <laughs> it looked very impressive, but you can tell and see it was smooth here. There wasn't much damage done from the fight, although very good try for Godfrey into landing such a complicated and high maneuver. Godfrey lands as she moves, but Gaddis catches her on the way out. Okay. Solid okay. body kick from Godfrey. Kick. <laughs> Godfrey <laughs> seemed to be thrown off by Gaddis' is coaching. There you go. <laughs> Definitely think Emily has the, the advantage when it's range. Shannon Golfer is definitely going in close. Good. You found the range. Good job. Both ladies still testing, still Good pushing, job. throwing punches. Yeah. And get us clips in. Clips Golfer moving in during her combo and gets clip coming out. Some press the footwork on both ladies' mm -hmm. parts. Good job. Still there. Yeah. Oh, another high kick by Golfer. Like yes. Oh, good way to defend from in this corner. One thing about these ladies is one lands a shot as they're moving out. The other lady is not afraid to throw another shot back at them to make sure they know that they're not getting away for free. They are definitely not afraid to take a hit or <laughs> give a hit, Justin. You are worried about that. I haven't seen these many hits. I listened to a Michael Jackson's Thriller album. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies continue to clang and bang all around the ring. Ooh, Godfrey, it's a solid shot coming down the middle. Checks those hands, hopefully. No, hands still low. Yeah, Godfrey, Godfrey's definitely confident. Mm -hmm. Good job! Good job! And although the combos aren't nearly as long as they start off to be there, they're still there. The cardio on these ladies for being able to bang and throw this long. Godfrey definitely is a fan of her right hand side. I see her going to that right side a lot. Mm -hmm. Nice high kick to the arm. Yes. There's the team there seconds. There's the going back fist, a flurry from both ladies. They can see the fight and push. Finishing strong, both ladies are good. Here for these two women here. To back down, continue to smash and crash into each other. That was definitely a tough round there. I have to give it to Godfrey. She's definitely been closer in that match. Just this year, they won the Academy of Country Music Award. The Joe is already awesome, but it's about to get a whole lot better. For General Lake, you're in Godfrey's corner right now. You would tell her to keep up the pace. I think also if you're in Emily's corner, you would tell her she needs to control the pace. Maybe keep that distance. Rely on their defense a little bit more on their long kicks. What do you think, Justin? As I'm looking at Emily's corner and I just continue to see them talk about uh, breathing and just making sure she's under control because her best shots were when she were able to, or she was able to step back, see what Goffrey was going to do, fire in shots, and then move back out. And even though Goffrey was you. flipping, she was getting the best of those exchanges. So I from her corner, I'm telling her to concentrate, keep her breathing under control, and just continue to do what she knows to do. Right. And if I'm Godfrey's corner, I'm telling her to continue to push forward because it seems to be working for her as far as the aggression being inside of Emily's face. We'll see. Because we'll see Emily. how they continue to do if they can keep this pace up for the third round. The devil says Emily is keeping the reach. She has a reach advantage with two inches on the reach at 64 versus Godfrey's 62 inch range. Nice combo by Godfrey as she fires one straight shot and two hooks. Godfrey continues to throw the combos out left and right. Emily getting her bearings and finding her range. Lady, lady, lady. Lady, lady. Lady, lady. That first floor still there. Don't chase her. Cut her off. Circle right. Good. Definitely here. Emily's lady. corner telling her to keep the defense side of mm -hmm. it, keeping her pace. Good, Em. First floor. I win. Good job. Yeah. Don't back up. Don't back up. Get his corner continually 
urging her to continue to push forward and not back up, not to let Offer gain that ground. Huge punches coming from both ladies for this late in these rounds. As much energy and many punches have been thrown. A lot of punches being thrown. Okay, I see the body shot. Goff is definitely going for the body now. That was definitely a solid one. Yeah, solid spot. right. Solid left. I think Emily's tired of taking blows. She's giving them now. And Goffrey's hands are still down. She's There's still a... standing in front eating these punches. It might not pay very big dividends for her to continue with that strategy. Wow, these ladies are tough as both are taking a beating from one another. Justin, I'm seeing a lot of things, a lot of hands, a lot of feet going on. Right <laughs> a lot right of things now. going on. In the end, this fight might just come down to who might be the most aggressive and who is meaner. Goffers definitely have the aggression here. I'd like to see you think with the pressure that's going on, Gaddis would think you need to finish and push forward through this fight and try to finish with a knockout or something spectacular and right. steal this round. She's definitely going to have to, she's definitely going to have to dominate this round. Lose control to spin back, yes. There we go. Emily must have heard one of us. She definitely lit a fire under on it. That's Geddes doing a great job by not tying up and keeping Goffrey's on the fence without tying up because go. if they tie up, then the ref would have to stop. If she kept her on the fence to be able to put those strategic shots to the body and to the face. Great job by Geddes there. Goffrey able to fight out of it and still has a fire in her eyes as she's throwing those punches. Gave a solid blow from him to Goffrey just now. She just tried two double spinning back fists back to back. I think I've ever seen that done before. Geddes is definitely ready for the first oh, two. She just she's the last one. That's definitely got to be Goffrey's favorite punch, the way she keeps throwing it. No matter how this fight comes out, these ladies will be worn out tomorrow. They'll be feeling this fight. Yeah, somebody, somebody better order these girls a cold steak to put on their faces. <laughs> Ten seconds left, and now to prepare for the flurries as they continue to finish and try to steal the round. Get us land some big shots, finishing the round. Better the combo. Excellent job by both ladies. Congratulations to both ladies on such a valiant effort. Great job by both young ladies as they come out in their pro debuts as Muay Thai. Both these girls came in here and fought hard. They both didn't leave anything on the table today, and I respect both of them for it. Absolutely. Now let's go to Ken Wilson for our post-fight announcements. Figure out who our winner is. Which young lady will have their hand raised?
outstanding and congratulations to your boys up now. First off, ladies and gentlemen, can we all agree that Dynamite comes in small packages from these strawberries? Let's give them one more round of applause. What a fight. All the players, all the violence. We're straight from the court of both players. Let me see what you gave Cranwell today coming in this more time. Um, I gave Cranwell said, come in, get in close. I knew she was tall. Um, I fought her in MMA already, so I knew a little bit about her striking. Uh, we didn't have too much strength with that, but uh, basically just getting close and uh, counter off everything she threw. Just my punch in the block. Did you count on your aggression, you know, to push forward? I know she came forward a whole lot during that fight. Is that something you had in your head, or is that just tough about you want? No, I'm always aggressive. I mean, I took this fight, I trained for a week because, you know, I took it very short notice, came out. I knew I was ready, I'm always ready, so my aggression's gonna be there. It don't matter who it is or what I'm fighting, I'm always gonna have that aggression there. Well, you're guaranteeing yourself, you're guaranteeing yourself to be a crowd favorite. Both ladies are by moving forward like that. Congratulations, baby. Any shout-outs for anyone you like? Shout out to uh, all my teammates, Sean Hammond, National Bay, Guardian Bay, um, Brad Tidwell, come out for me. Just everybody, everybody that's here to support me or they're supporting me to get better every day. Thank you. Congratulations, Hammond. Shannon Goff for everybody.